First scene, three play, by John Arthur Ingram. Fade in. Exterior, Woodward Park, dusk. Sun setting on a humid summer day. On the large metal lawn, a crowd lounges with blankets, chairs, and snacks. They're facing a small stage. We see a playbill that reads, Theatre Tulsa presents a midsummer night's dream. Backstage wooded area. Oliver Gray waits. A tall male in his 20s, he's a functional neurotic, so at least half the time he's a fun idealist. Oliver is wearing a recycled period costume that's struggling to cover him. He's supposed to be the sensitive lover Lysander. Sipping on a flask, he carefully paces back and forth while rehearsing lines to himself. Blake, you're the only guy I've ever felt this way about, and I don't know how it could happen, or... Damn it. Blake, I feel like we've grown much closer in college, and being with Sylvia has made me realize that maybe what I really want is... you? Okay, Blake, don't freak out, but I think I like you in that way, and I think maybe you do too, and I just want to know... <sighs> Blake, I'm in love with you and want to leak your abs. How does that make you feel? Oliver sits in surrender on a bench and looks up to a wedding mansion on a hill across the park. Then someone in an oversized period costume emerges from the first dirt past. It's Blake Mitchell, 20s. He's attractive by anyone's standards. Frustratingly unfocused at times. You want to hate him, but then he shows that charming smile, and you forget. Oliver's POV. In slow motion, Blake stops at the dirt path and begins undressing in front of Oliver. Blake gazes directly at Oliver, grins. Blake runs his hands down his abs and into his pants. When he exhibits them, rose petals sprout out. Return to scene. None of this happens. However, the fantasy has Oliver biting hard on the lid of his flask as Blake approaches him. There he is, the sexiest Lysander in the land. Huh? You got any of that flask left? Oliver breaks from his fantasy and gives him the flask. They gotta stop recycling these costumes. I feel like I'm wearing Shakespeare's virginity. Where's Sylvia? Still getting in costume. You two lovebirds got any plans for the summer? He takes a seat next to Oliver. Blake's shirt exposes his marvelous abs. Oliver steals glances at them glistening in the evening sun. Not really. A pregnant beat as Blake avoids eye contact. Fidget, shame. Oliver studies Blake. Is this a good time? Oliver breaks with, I gotta tell you something. Okay, what's up? I, I was thinking about our exceptional friendship and, and the incredible kinetic energy we share that's unrivaled in the history of friendships. If you're trying to propose to me, you gotta do better than that. I'm serious. I feel like we've grown so much closer the past year, and I still love Sylvia, but you and I... Oh, shit. This is your coming out speech. What? No, it... Yes. Maybe. Does Sylvia know? No, I wanted to see how this would go first. Oh. But did you think I'd be mad or, or stop being your friend? Not exactly. Oh, come on. Give me some credit. Damn, I'm... I'm not like those guys at my firm. I'm happy for you, really. And I'm sure Sylvia will be relieved, uh, I mean, happy for you, too. Wait, what about us? We could take it slow, and uh, I'm still figuring it out. Blake laughs until he sees Oliver isn't joking. Damn. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Uh, I, I wish I could be. I mean, if I were, then I'd be all about this, but... I really love women. Um, funny thing, actually. Oh, of course, I, I get it. No worries. I, I'm gonna go rehearse my lines and find another costume to wear or another play. Oliver exits the backstage door when Sylvia Chatterley, 20 short, infectious, mean girl with a big heart, approaches him. She's in a plain period costume as Helena. Hey, honey. She gives him a quick kiss on the lips. Stage manager's looking for you. Everything okay? Yep, I'm just clearly miscast. Honey, this whole play is miscast. Thanks for doing this, though. Oliver gives the flask and looks for the stage manager. Sylvia joins Blake. At the bench, she takes a swig from the flask. What did you tell Oliver? Nothing. Good, because nothing happened, and nothing will ever happen again. Exactly. But he did say something else. You should tell him after the show. Before the cast party. Oh, I can't make it tonight. Bullshit! You're running away, so I have to tell Oliver myself. No. Wait, I thought we're just gonna stop and not say anything. 
I am not taking full responsibility for this so you guys can reconcile everything over slut-shaming me. I'm a good girlfriend, and I love Oliver. Yes, you're totally right. We'll tell him together. Yes, we will. They both remain locked in a ravenous glare. Blake displays his charming smile. I really don't like you either. Wish we'd never met. You and your stupid smile and stupid toned abs and stupidness. Yeah, and I hate your stubborn eyes and your sexy meanness. A hard sex filled beat, and they kiss and grasp at each other. Exterior, backstage, wooded area minutes later. Oliver mumbles to himself as he wanders toward the bench. He finds it empty and sees a few bushes, drifting about violently, accompanied by. Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! And a slap. Ah, okay, that's enough. Oliver engages the bush slowly. Hey, are you guys rehearsing? Before they can stop to answer, Oliver peeks behind the bush. Holy... what the... is that one of the stage props? What are you doing? He backs away from the bush, shell-shocked. Blake stumbles out naked holding his crotch. Oliver, shit! I, I'm sorry. Sylvia slides out naked. Her and Blake stand next to each other, covering the shame with only their hands. Damn it, we really wanted to talk to you before it ever got this far. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. But now that you, um, saw everything, maybe we can talk it through, like, rational... Hey, the good news is, you're gay. That's gotta make you feel better, right? To finally get that out and be out. What? When did this happen? When did this happen? Just now, and, uh... Grand Lake? Our camping trip? Back up. You're full on gay now? Busted. The trio are in a standoff. It breaks with... Look, we're all guilty of something right now. I'm guilty? Oliver marches away from them. Oliver? Wait! Damn it. That's not what I meant. Where are you going? Sylvia punches Blake in the arm, gathers her clothes from the bush. Blake stands, confused and ashamed, but essentially naked. Title card. Replay.